Hi, thank you for your interest in our do-it-yourself bicycle trailer kit and we're really sorry that we don't have an off-the-shelf product that meets your needs. You must need a specific sort of trailer. So what is included in your kit is uh, a pair of 20 inch um, wheels and axles, bike hitch and pin, uh, bent tow bar, four corner connectors for each corner of the trailer and two axle connectors. What you need to purchase are one inch square aluminum tubing, either 062 wall or 125 wall, and a sheet of plywood, plastic, or, or aluminum for the base of the trailer. And uh, we use quarter by machine screws to bolt everything together, and some number 14 by one inch self tapping screws. So your first step is to decide the size of trailer that you want. What we have here is a um, parts cut for a 22 inch by 40 inch bicycle trailer. So on the, on the inside uh, dimension between your rails you, you cut three uh, spreaders and then you have four longitudinal rails three of which are the length of the trailer and the fourth rail is uh, about seven inches longer than the trailer. Uh, your first step is to uh, bolt your uh, quarter connectors onto your cross tubes and then drill, drill across. Through, through bolt it with the quarter 20 bolt and then do the same thing on the other side. Continue in the same fashion with your other cross tubes. Remember to match your two axle connectors. Those are the ones with the chromed inserts. Our tube connectors are very, very strong. Uh, they will outlast anything on your trail. Once you have your three cross tubes done, then assemble your cross tubes on to the longitudinal tube. These are joined with the self-tapping screw through the bottom. To hold the bottom tooth tube in place. Put your your axle connector, the the tube with the chrome inserts. Just to the rear of the center of the trail. That way you'll have a, a bit of a positive tongue weight on the bicycle which helps with stability and braking. Mount the front and back cross tubes flush with the edge connector. On the left side of the trailer,
in the upper position is mounted the longer tube and then to attach that drill through horizontally through the connector and through bolt with the same inch and a quarter, quarter twenty bolt. Repeat the same thing on the other side. Your trailer frame is now complete. Next step is to bolt on the bottom. And to accomplish that, drill down through the frame. Using the same quarter twenty bolts, bolt your floor in place. between the bolts to hold the floor on should be anywhere between four and six inches depending on the thickness of your plywood and the weight that you're carrying and it's usually a good idea to use uh, some washers to disperse the load a little bit There's your trailer with your bed, the extension here allows for the connection of our tow bar, connects 
to your bicycle with our hitch and pin, which is flexible. So if the bicycle falls over, the trailer stays upright. So simply inserts into the side receiver. And that's our trailer kit.